Hi Capricorn, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to be doing this video for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you're interested in a Capricorn and you're really trying to hope to understand more energetically about what's going on with them. I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I'd love for you to join me there if you feel called to. The readings are there recipes, it's my home space, my creative space. So yeah, if you're interested, please come join me. So these readings are meant to be a bridge to your own intuition, which is more important than anything else. My greatest intention is to really help you develop listening to that, um, that inner voice, listening to your soul, really hearing it, whether you wanna call it the divine, your guides, your higher self. Um, I really wanna help you develop that. That's my intention in these readings. Tarot is meant to be like a good friend. So if it's making you more confused or if it's bringing you down, always be conscious of how something's making you feel. If it's making you feel negative, step away, okay? And if you're getting more confused, it might be like that it's really important to spend time like cutting yourself off from everything else so that you only hear yourself. And Capricorn, I want to say a huge thank you. You guys were the biggest supporters of the last round of videos I did, and it means so much to me. I love your beautiful Earth energy. My daughter is a Capricorn, and um, I'm an Earth sign myself. I've got a couple of Earth placements. So I just, I love doing the Capricorn readings. I love being around Capricorns. Um, let's get started for you. I already pre-shuffled the cards, so I'm just going to shuffle them a couple more times. Just keep in mind that tarot is timeless, like even though we organize it by time sometimes just for organizational purposes, it's divine timing when you're meant to see it. So if you're drawn to a video from a year ago, you know, there could be messages in there and I would trust that. And it's collective, so not every message is going to match every person. That's really where listening to yourself comes in. Is there any messages that you feel like you were meant to hear? Okay, Capricorn, we have take action. We have compromise, we have unlikely, you're ready, reconsider, and this is following, following right underneath the compromise card, and meditation brings answers, following right underneath the unlikely card. So let's start with this first row, take action, and you're ready, coming up together. So there's something that um, obviously you're being called to take action on and you're being told you're ready. You may not feel ready. There's so many times in life where we can hold ourselves back because we don't feel like we're ready or we don't feel like we have all the skills or the talent or whatever it is, but that's not true. You are ready. The universe is saying it is time. It is divine timing to take action. Whatever this thing is, whether it's going after a job you really want or a relationship or something, there's something where... The universe is saying, no, you're ready. It's, for example, like as a parent, like a lot of times we can be like, oh, well, I don't feel ready to be a parent. Yeah, I want to put it off till I have more money or more security or whatever, like all those things. But maybe your heart actually knows that that's something you really want and you're letting your mind hold you back. So don't do that. Let yourself take action on whatever it is because you are ready. And when you have that, you're ready. This means you have the universe behind you here. You're not alone, you're supported. You're supported in this. Compromise and reconsider. So there might be some relationship in your life right now that's gonna take some compromise, some balancing of the scales, some reconsidering, maybe reconsidering how you looked at something. You'll know if that makes sense for you. Um, you'll know if there's a situation where you feel like, okay, maybe we need to find a way to both compromise so that we can both come up with a solution that we both can live with. Um, and you might have to, or you might be needing to reconsider an offer that was given to you. Um, maybe you didn't feel like it was right at the time, but maybe it doesn't go away. Like it stays with you and, and you're knowing, you're like, you know, maybe I should reconsider this offer. Maybe I was close to it before, but maybe it'll be right for me. Unlikely and meditation brings answers. There's some path. Um, I personally feel like when the unlikely card comes up that there's something that you're worrying about maybe that's unlikely to happen or unlikely to hold you back. I feel like whatever this thing, maybe you're like thinking of a bad scenario or something, but it's unlikely to be a problem here and meditation brings answers, which meditation brings you the calmness, that inner knowing, that peaceful state, and that's a really great place to be from. 
And if there's something that's unlikely in your life that you feel like is unlikely, you will get the answers you need from within. So you're really being asked to take a step back and really get quiet so that you can hear what it is. But sometimes the unlikely part is just about these worries. It's like, what if this happens? What if that happens? But they're really not likely to happen, okay? And this meditation is this calming of the mind and calming of the thoughts and letting go of them, letting go of the worries, letting go of the stress. It's really important that we develop that skill to really take care of ourselves mentally. Um, I feel like there's this big spiritual void a lot here and um, this lack of taking responsibility for our, our you know, our our state um, of being so really what you can do and I'm not saying that you Capricorn because like obviously you're drawn to these videos for a reason you you're inclined spiritually here and I feel like this meditation is really is really just a quieting is really taking care of yourself taking care of your mind nurturing yourself here let's pull a couple butterfly cards what are the messages for my beautiful Capricorn? Thank you so much for all the likes and all the sharing and subscribing and everything that you do. That really helps this channel grow. It means a lot to me um, that you guys help, help reach more Capricorns. I really appreciate you. Okay, you have finances and you are stronger than you know. Finances has come up in more than run reading. So you have the strength to do what it takes. Like for some of you with finances, it could be um, you may be coming into more finances, okay? You have the strength, take action, you're ready. Um, and for others of you, it's really becoming very responsible with your finances, um, where it's really taking a look at how much money you have coming in. If it's not consistent amount, what's the lowest amount you normally have coming in? And then living within that amount, and even more ideally living a bit below it. Um, because especially as an earth sign, you can create a stable um, amount of savings for yourself. It just makes you feel more stable and secure in life. So having a budget that you live within, you know, including how much do you have for gas and how much do you have for food after you pay your bills and like actually really sticking to it is gonna create wellness in you. It's an important part of being well in the earth plane because money is a part of this earth that we live in right now. Um, and as an earth sign, like you, you are great at making money and you are great at bringing in money. You are great at attracting that. Um, it doesn't matter how much money you make or have when it comes to being responsibly living within that, okay? Because you can make way less money and be really responsible with your budget and be so much further ahead than someone makes a ton of money and is not, okay? Capricorn, you have that innate ability with you as a beautiful earth sign. Let's pull two romance cards here. Let's see what wants to come up for my beautiful Capricorn. Flirt and trust. Oh, I love those two cards together. Be your flirtatious self. Be lighthearted, you know. Um, this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? There is some faith involved here. Um, but meanwhile, be flirtatious. You're gorgeous. You're beautiful. Your energy is amazing. Let it show, okay? And, you know, yeah, there is some trust needed here in the universe. Trust in the universe. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards for you and your person or situation to... What is Capricorn's energy? Six of Cups, Two of Swords, oh, another two, Divine Timing here, Two of Wands. This is all about Divine Timing, that's why the chess card is here. The Chariot, Six of Wands, this is a card of victory. I'm gonna pull for the person or situation, Six of Swords, Justice, Magician, Two of Cups, could be trust with love here, and Knave of Cups. Wow, this is kind of incredible. Okay, Six of Cups could mean that this person or situation, you already know them. If it's a person, it's somebody, it could be someone that you already know. It also could be that you're being nostalgic about the past. And I would always say, like, even though we might have, um, a, I always prefer the energy of the now. So, 
even though it can be great, like if you can bring yourself into the now and like what is beautiful right now in front of you, I always prefer that myself personally. Um, but for me, this can mean that it's like a person or situation that's already been a part of your past. Two of Swords, you might have been feeling like you are have been stuck from taking action, but you have taken action and you're ready here. Two of Swords is often like, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling stuck. But there's divine timing involved too. So there's this waiting for the signs, the Two of Wands. I feel like twos are also at the beginning of um, the journey too. So it's like, it can be like something that's new. You have this fast moving energy that's heading towards the Two of Wands and Wands are about passion. So there's this, and it's allowing the universe to guide you without holding on to the reins towards something passionate. Um, towards moving out of being stuck because you have victory here. Six of Wands is about victory. You're having victory in this situation. There is victory here for you. The person or situation you're dealing with, they may be at a distance, maybe not, but for some of you, this can be a car of travel. You may be traveling to them. They may be moving. Um, the Justice card is all about the universe balancing things out and bringing in justice. And the magician card is I feel like they're working hard at manifesting something here or they're more powerful than they know. I feel like what they're manifesting is love with the two of cups, this love connection. They are, um, they're, they're thinking of you and the knave of cups, the page of cups is like, for me, this is like, it could be like this. It can be a message of love because the page can be a messenger card. But for me, it also feels like for some of you, it's a new love because it's the knave of cups. It doesn't have to be for all of you, but for some of you, it's a new love. But there's this person sees you as this like, as this soulmate connection here with the two of cups. And I feel like you're what they were wishing for. You're, you're what they were trying to manifest. Um, and they've been going through some rough things, but they're moving into calmer waters here. And the universe is bringing in this balance for them here with the justice card. Okay, let's just pull two more cards for you, Capricorn. What is the advice for my beautiful Capricorn friends besides flirt and trust and have faith here? We have the tower and the five of wands. Okay. Allow the universe to remove anything that's not right for you. Allow the universe to bring these changes, okay? Um, it might be that some of these changes that have come into your life are very unexpected. I can I see the cover card as a beautiful thing because in the end, these are really positive changes. They might just not, they might have been a surprise for you, but it's because the universe is wanting you to get away from this five of wands energy where it feels like all this competition or like jealousy or, um, just energy that's not great for you. Their universe is stepping in saying, hey, this is not your highest path. I'm going to shake things up in a very positive way. Um, just have some faith here. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you got some messages that were helpful to you. Know that I am supporting you with my love and light. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the sharing, this clicking the bell to be notified. All of those things really help the channel grow and mean a lot to me. And I am just, I'm rooting for you. I'm in your corner and thank you so much for being here. Have a beautiful week. Bye Capricorn.